foundation is uh, a foundation that was founded, the idea cropped up in 1999 when uh, myself together with a few friends, uh, particularly the friends who share the same background, uh, realized that uh, the education standards uh, around the Dudine village were going down and down and as a consequence harboring a lot of criminals there and as a, a group we decided that uh, that problem needed intervention and the intervention that we thought was appropriate was uh, to pay attention to education. So in 1999 we got together and uh, formed what we used to call then the Guvini Support Group which uh, would uh, support the primary school to just ensure that we turned around uh, their performance. And then they performed very, very badly, very poorly rather. The mean score was 100 something, 180, 160. So when I went there, uh, it was really, we had to work hard to uplift the, the school. So they wanted to meet the teachers and talk to them. The teachers were there, only about four of them. Uh, the, the backup group brought about about one or two people. Those people who performed well several times, uh, they had to be honored with something at least. Motivation was there. Ni kikundi ambacho uh, kilipokutana walikuwa na mikakati ya kusaidia wanafunzi. Kwa hivyo uh, jambo la kwanza ambalo wamefanya la muhimu sana they have fenced the school around the school tunasikia shule yetu iko na security ya kutosha they have also supported the kids who have been doing very well in the school they have also balanced academic, uh, academic and uh, sport uh, last year we were given uh, four pairs of uh, sports uh, attires plus the boots last year we earned some of, our, of the kids going all the way to the regionals. Pupils are happy, they have very nice uh, classrooms, and even the rockers are very nice. We also have a very nice office, maybe one of the best offices in the, in the whole of Kirinyaga. The, the group has sponsored more than uh, 40 kids this year, and we are proud because 15 of them are directly from our school, and we are very proud of that. When we look at the long-term objective of this area, we are seeing that education is going to be very key. So that has been a major target area for the organization. Fast forward, because when we intervened in the primary school, they started passing very well. In fact, by the time we intervened, the enrollment in that school was below 200 students. As we speak, we are proud to say that we, in the primary school, we have in the upward of uh, 600 students who are performing very well. Uh, we realized that we needed to do something about those kids who are passing, and uh, they did not. The parents did not have enough uh, funds to support them for high school, and uh, we had a school just. Uh, uh, within this same compound of uh, Gaduthini that nobody was thinking about because everybody was thinking about taking children to Alliance and taking them to Mango High School uh, and the big schools in Kenya. But we had an opportunity to develop this school so we said why not support this school uh, to become a model school for our community uh, and where we could actually also solve the problem of uh, the kids who are uh, do not have funds to go to uh, other schools. So that is how uh, we started the idea of uh, supporting St. Peter's Secondary School in I interacted with GHF for the first time and um, the patron to the GHF promised that uh, they will assist our secondary school which by that time had only two makeshift classes. They have constructed for us an abolition, uh, two abolition block, one for the student and one for the teachers. They have also done a block of four classrooms and a well done administration. We also have a, a laboratory with first floor, second floor, and third floor that is incomplete, and a dining hall. Those 
Apart from that, they have also sponsored about um, 37 students. They have also sponsored by buying for us textbooks that were worth 1.9 million. Through their assistance, that is through the patron, they've also been able to invite the then CS for Education, Dr. Matian, who came and gave us money for infrastructure, about 15 million. Our lab has 30 computers and 10 laptops, which were donated by GHF. And we are, we are glad that the GHF is here so that it can uh, help these students uh, in all ways possible, more so in uh, the computer, because we believe in GHF, because uh, what they say is what they do. May God bless you so much, GHF, for seeing it worthy to start a computer class in St. Peter's Gadolini and see you through. At the very beginning, uh, we were actually not having all the facilities you can actually see around in as much as uh, science is actually concerned. We actually thank the GHF and of course the school administration and uh, definitely all uh, bodies that have actually, everybody that has actually participated in giving us this particular lab. I understand that it is the best we have within the country. In fact, within Kirinyaga, we actually don't expect to have such. So we actually thank them so much and uh, we are so uh, grateful of what they are doing to the school. The students also appreciate a lot to these, the best facilities I've actually come across. As a science teacher, I really appreciate what the GHF are actually doing to this school. We are going places. We have managed to put for them a state-of-the-art field which they share with the primary school uh, because of that facility. The entire of the Kirinya County has uh, approached us and we have become as Gadudine Hope Foundation, the sponsor of a football team tournament for a secondary school where the tournament takes place at the Gadudine uh, play field. We couldn't leave behind mentorship. So we've taken mentorship as part of us so that we nurture these students to become men and women of integrity, to become men who can serve the society in a better way, to become people who are better leaders. GHF has really impacted positively in my life in that it opened up my mind. I was able to know that besides my background, I could be the, a greater person in the future. So challenged me to work harder and smart to achieve my dreams. I interacted with GHF in 2012. The members are extremely committed. They have deliberately purposed to ensure that they are able to improve their society from the children, the community, basically the community at large. The objective is noble and um, ensure that uh, everybody in that community is able to sustain themselves. GHF will continue to grow. Of course, uh, I see us building a technical institute uh, where students coming from primary school can join secondary school and after that they can go to the technical institute where they can get skills that they'll use to build their lives. Si kwamba iki kikundi wakona pesa ambayo tabla ni kama mti umepando unaenda tu kuchuna pale apana ni kujitolewa na jitolea every month wanatoa their contribution from their, 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 their pocket to make sure they are want to make sure that uh, everything is done the right way kwa hivyo ningependa sana kuwashukuru kwa niaba ya BOM kwa niaba ya walim kwa niaba ya watoto na ningependa kuwashukuru sana kwa hiyo kujitolea the sacrifice you make na pia niombe Mungu the Gadudini Hope Foundation is doing a good work. The parents and the community around, they are happy about what is happening around Gadudini. Both in primary, in secondary, and even the church there around, it's doing quite a good work. People are happy. They have seen the assistance given to their pupils, and nothing else is better than that. We, as the family members, we are happy of Hope Foundation. We can say to Hope Foundation, we be blessed, our peers to be blessed, and we wish him to lead the children as we feel to have a young teacher from this school. 
I'm very much grateful for the patron of the school, for the teachers and the, for the members of the society who are continuing to help us in each and everything that we do. May God bless you and bless you abundantly. And when we'll just reciprocate this that you have given us by achieving our best. If we capture them early, go work with them, they get good primary school education, good secondary school education, go to colleges, get careers, start working, start doing something productive with, uh, with themselves, then you change the whole community. We would like to see a community that has been transformed uh, by the people who live there, uh, educated uh, young people, able to support themselves, communities that are empowered, uh, who are able to make their own investments and support themselves. Let us uh, continue supporting our community so that uh, this community in another five years, in another ten years, just like we had said, that after you cross the bridge when you're coming from Kagio, every two people you meet, one will have a PhD. Those are the dreams that uh, we want to see realized in our lifetime. With this kind of uh, inspiration, I think, uh, many people will see the need uh, to support not just this activity that we have here, but even to go back to their own communities and try to do something, try to change the lives of people there and trying to make an impact because I think that is what life at the end of the day is all about, uh, where you are trying to make an impact and uh, trying not just to uh, think about yourself but think about uh, the big picture and supporting somebody else.